Another year means another carbon tax increase on April 1st. It was minus 50 in some places in this country where Canadians can't even afford to heat their homes. Yesterday, the finance minister lectured Canadians on her out-of-touch version of events, and then we learned that the Liberals were going to change the name of the carbon tax. <laughs> taking money out of the pockets of Canadians rebranded is still taking money out of their pockets. So instead of paying high-priced consultants to remove the car to remove the carbon tax or change the carbon tax name, they should take some free advice and cancel it April 1st. Yeah. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, let me tell you what is really out of touch. What, about, what is out of touch is for a Toronto MP like the one opposite, sitting opposite to be saying to the people of Ontario, to the hardworking families of Ontario, we are going to take away the $974 you are getting back thanks to the price on pollution. We're going to cut that money that goes directly to your family budget. Oh, and by the way, we're going to cut daycare and dental care along the way too. That's not going to help anyone in Canada. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. Mr. Speaker, I, ne I have, don't remember a government so indifferent to the plight of Canadians. Yeah. Her advice of cutting Disney Plus is cold comfort to the woman who's putting water in her children's milk. The cost of some produce is up 94% since she got here. They can lower the cost of food, of gas, of home heating by cancelling the increase instead of quadrupling the tax. They paused it for one region where their MPs re uh, revolted. Where are the rest of their silent MPs who should yeah. be speaking up for their neighbours that are asking to cancel the increase? Yeah, yeah. Minister for Finance and Deputy Prime Minister. Speaker, when it comes to being out of touch with regular Canadians, let me tell you what was out of touch. It was having a temporary leader who charged 20 grand to move into her temporary house and then charged Canadian taxpayers more than $5,000 for bed and bath linens. That's for towels and sheets. And Mr. Speaker, what Canadians need to know is these Conservatives would cut childcare, they would cut dental care, and they would cut the carbon rebate people are getting.